dude and his way Sean who's been really tearing it up uh, how, how do you how do you feel about way Sean Dustin <laughs> I'm fine with way Sean I yeah. I just wish the C stick inputs registered uh, I, uh, I I think about 40 percent of the C stick inputs just don't go through for some reason mm. and I mean I had experienced that online but it was probably only like five ten percent online mm. for some reason it was happening a lot here that was the only thing that frustrated me. I think Weishan's fine. I think Zurong does pretty fine in that matchup. Yeah. You just have to play it as... What? You're wrong. You're wrong. Okay, but looks you can like kind we're... of like just low profile all of his aerials when you run Are in. Are we jumping in here? Grab. Uh, it looks like they're audio. doing a button check or, or they're, they're resetting. They're neutral starting, yeah. Game audio. There you go. And I don't know how Wonder's done against the top Weishans like Mr. Lime. He's, uh, he's done pretty well. In fact, I think he thinks that, uh, that uh, I think he was saying that Ashani wins this matchup, but I'm not sure. He's making it look like it right now. He's really tearing it up and, you know, uh, capitalizing on whatever hit he gets and just really stringing a combo into, on this big boy. He's really good at whiff punishing all the swords coming in with a lot of running down tilt or side special. Whiff punish everything that suit's doing. There you go, see down tilt again. Doesn't quite get the confirm. I don't know if it's confirmed at that percent. Yeah, Stu just feeling a lot nice. of pressure right now. But uh, if, if he's able to get some good hits in, he could be back very quickly. Yes, Weishan definitely racks up damage very fast. See, like right here, he's getting the spacing down and He's able to really clip her, and that's all way Sean needs to get things started, and it can be difficult to get in on him. I think that was really funny, that forward tilt clanked with her EMP punch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. This game is nutty sometimes. Of course, the disjoint, I think, just straight yeah. up is what, what did it, but... <laughs> he almost looked like he clipped through the stage. Wonder is nuts. Wall jumps in this game are really good, They're They're which so is good. which is really good because some characters have weaker recoveries. Shawnee's one of them, so the wall jump really helps not only give her extra height, but it gives a little timing and distance mix up. Yeah, and even characters like Raymer who already have a really good recovery, mm -hmm. then it gives me yet another option to mix up, um, switch things up, and try to throw them off. And yep, uh, Stude finally closing out that stock, but a uh, Shawnee is good. going yeah. in for a down air. Not a lot you can do about that if you don't get the right DI. Right. It looked like it wasn't the best DI. Not sure, though. Yeah, I mean, it's definitely not free. Good good reaction to get out of that F-Strike by Wonder there. Dying. Down is dying. That yeah. way he doesn't get hit by the second hit. Yeah. First hit's not very scary. Second hit, though. Yeah, so that first killer. hit won't hardly do anything. So if you get out of the second hit, you're golden. Nice back air there, and uh, he's not quite dead. He makes it back to stage. Oh, man, Stude so is, is doing in. so well with that, uh, I guess, projectile, quote-unquote, that way Sean has. It's so good if you can, uh, if you can time it and space it right. It's really good at stuffing movement, and mm -hmm. even if it misses, it's pretty good. Oh, uh, unfortunate. At, well, he, he yeah. got back. I thought he was dead there, but yeah. Wonder rolls up a little too early. Yeah. Uh, the neutral special. You're correct. There is less ledge invincibility, and every time you regrab, you get less invincibility. Yeah, I think it cuts it in half Player every three time. Wins. So it's it's not like PM where you just get like six ledge regrab. Yeah, you get five, and then the sixth is yeah. nothing. And then, uh, and, but in this game, it actually you get less and less every time mm -hmm. you regrab. So you really don't want, and you don't get as much as PM or melee three, even right. the first Two, time either. So one, you really don't yes. want to regrab too much unless you're just straight up. Uh, yeah, getting a getting a stage reset here going into game two. I actually really like the ledge changes. The only thing I wish the first and second still had full invincibility. There are a lot of times where you immediately grab ledge and it's just it's not the right time to ledge dash or you yeah. need a little you need yeah. a little reset because it's I don't difficult know, or whatever. You know, you don't 
You don't have enough legend vulnerability to really get much off of a ledge dash in general in this right. game. So when you only get half after having to re-grab, it means even less, and right. it's really difficult. Yeah, I, I think allowing the full invincibility on the first and second, that way you can refresh, would be great. And then appropriately keeping it after the third, fourth, etc. Dude, uh, stuff in that first stock there. This stage is scary. It's against really Wei scary Sean. against Wei Shang. Because if he's in the middle of the stage, he covers literally the entire, yes. <laughs> the entire stage, all the platforms, except for the top one. And then even then, if you're up there, yeah. you're not threatening anything. Yeah. Wei Shan can just cover his head very well. I mean, if nothing else, he can just jump and nair, and he's swinging that, yep. swinging that Guan Dao just everywhere. Oh, good, good tech roll, getting to the edge of that platform to avoid the move there. Dude, really trying to take advantage of these platforms that it's not going quite oh as well for him. Oh my god! Uh, that was amazing. Okay. That was so good. Yeah, it's sadly it's not something that will usually lead to a kill unless they're just really not expecting it. But it's right. so funny when you get it. It's just great. Good neutral special, but he's still living. Oh, okay, nope. closing not it out anymore. with a fair. <clears throat> Look at Stude. Who's Icon Man now? Right. <laughs> Still wonder. Well, we're uh, we're back in an even game, so it could go either way. But uh, again, you know, Malu Malu is really really strong for Weishan. I feel like definitely okay. a very volatile stage in general. It, it seems. is. You know, having the smaller blast zones and everything, and um, you know, of course, uh, Ashani can get kills more easily on the stage too. So. Oh my God, he just did not care. I how? <laughs> <laughs> it's just like, yeah, I'm just hitting you out of this. Ooh. Wonder knows all the cheats. He's been labbing this game for so long. One more of those, I think? No, no, he's no, not. He, he, uh, he jumped out of it, which was mm -hmm. smart, because uh, okay. I don't think he had anything that could have beat that. Oh. Battle yep, that'll do it. Good comeback. Getting that follow-up, close wins. it out. <laughs> and Stretching on him. We are up 2-0 now uh, for Wonder, so uh, Stude is going to have to... Yeah, he's, going he's, right back. Yeah, I figured he would go right back, but he's got to pull something out and really uh, try to get something to get ahead Three, here. Yeah, especially two, having to win twice one, on Wonder's counter pick, that'll be really hard. Yeah. All right. So. Ooh, both went for the raw grab. <laughs> both missed. Do you know, are these, are the platforms on a set cycle or are they random? Uh, someone was just asking, uh, he was just asking earlier and I'm not on, on actually sure. I know they do change a lot. Right. Uh, I would imagine knowing the Wave Dash team that they do have them on a very set uh, rigorous schedule. Mm -hmm. um, but you know, it changes so much, it probably is difficult to memorize. Right. Uh, but as I was mentioning, there are a lot of cues every time. Oh. Yeah. Wonder very, very slightly avoiding that edge guard there. Yeah, you can tell when they're back. changing. Ooh. No jump, but can't quite shark him with the up air. Stuffing that side special and yeah, he is catch dead. Him. Yeah, so, you know, whenever the platforms are about to change, you'll see the eyes blinking. You'll see rocks falling from the platform. It's, uh, it's, it's pretty clear when they're about to change, so. Yeah, I think that's a very welcome change. One of the common complaints about uh, a stage like Fountain of Dreams mm -hmm. and Melee and PM is that there's no really visual indicator. The platform just kind of starts moving and it messes you up a lot. And another thing that makes it weird is um, the cycle's random in Melee. Yeah, yeah. So you don't know what sure cycle's going to happen. <laughs> But the, I think the visual indicators are really good, even if the cycles that it has. Oh, it goes may or for may the down air, but it's not quite enough. Ooh. That fair is going to put him in a bad spot. Is he? Okay. He, he went for ledge. Yep. He's been going for ledge almost every time. Yeah. And Wonder's been calling him out on it. And usually, you know, Weishan has really good coverage for Incarn trying to go to the ledge with that weapon he's swinging down, uh, that Guan Dao. But um, it's. Oh my god. Lands so it's really hard line. to punish him from oh the Oh my! That was so good. Wonder, Wonder what are you, you can't, doing? This man has a family. You can't just do that. Okay, Wonder, fine. You're the icon, <laughs> man. That's icon.